Welcome to the Studio Cloud videos tutorial on how to use the client list. We're going to start off by saying what we always say, which is refer to our written documentation on our uh, help site so that you can get the latest information if you have any questions or things don't seem to match up with the video tutorial. Uh, we update the written documentation um, as we do updates, whereas the video tutorials, there is a delay between we can, when we can update them. So we're going to work our way and go through and explain everything you see on the screen right here. Let's just start uh, by going through the columns. The first column here is the client number that you see listed there. The second column is the business name. The next column is the client last name. The next column is the client first name. Email address of the client. Notes section, and this also includes tags, and I'll explain why in a little bit modified by this is the employee or the user that's logged in that, that last edited this client and the last time it was modified on. We also have additional columns. We have home phone, work phone, and cell phone that you can add to the column. These are turned off by default and the reason is that um, we have customers that are using Studio Cloud that have a hundred thousand clients and customers that have one client and so we have to manage both uh, paradigms and when you have tons and tons of clients we need to make sure that Studio Cloud can pull up those clients quickly and to do that it takes it slows down takes a little bit more time to pull in the home phone work phone cell phone than it does all these other fields and it also takes more time to pull in the tags and so we we did a compromise the compromise was to pull in the tags you you uh, you can't list them in the table but you can click on the notes section and you can view the tags if you want to you can click on the home phone work phone and cell phone if you have a lot of clients that can slow things down and so by default it is turned off in addition we have the options down here you see these arrows where my cursor is it says one of one page so in this example um, I, don't, I don't have 500 clients um, I have uh, we'll switch that looks like I don't even have 50. I, I, um, so if I did have more than uh, the, uh, the default it would have page one of five or whatever and you could go from page to page to page if you want to or uh, and that this would be if you have a substantial number of clients we also have it set up over here to filter kinda of like a, a directory where you can just see those um, those letters A through C, D through F or you can see all of them we also have a search option down here where you can type in a client's name and uh, it will pull up that client. Now if you have one of these selected and then you type in a search, the search will override what you have selected. If you type in a search down here and click up here, it will override what the search is. It kind of whatever your next action is wins. It doesn't do a search and this, it just does one or the other in the all fields section here you can come in here and select different things so you're only searching by specific categories whether it be email first name last name whatever by default it does all of them one of the things we didn't cover yet are these little boxes right here and this is where things become quite powerful uh, the first one right here is called group operations and we'll go through those um, let's go through those right now so you have a uh, group operations select all this is these check marks right here let you do uh, edit or uh, change multiple clients at the exact same time and so it's all over the studio cloud program you have deselect and select all and then you have different options okay the select duplicate clients will go through and find clients that have the same first and last name and select them and so you'll have over here you'll have um, it would if you had let's say these two were, were duplicates it would select them both and you can go through and say okay I want to keep this one or I want to keep that one or um, or you can do select um, duplicate clients and if you edit that client you can merge them together there's underneath the uh, more actions when you're editing a client it has a merge and so you can merge the duplicate clients select clients without client numbers um, in this situation all my clients have client numbers if they didn't um, it would select them most likely the only situation where you're going to have clients that don't have client numbers is if you import the clients using a CSV file or a, um, into Studio Cloud using the import options over here if you do that and override the uh, the uh, client number where you have clients that have a bunch of uh, zeros and you import that, that's that's 
typically the only situation and, and that typically also means that the clients were imported incorrectly. Remove spaces from emails of selected client. Sometimes when people import clients or type them in, they will actually have a they will accidentally have a space before the email address or or after or, or not. Um, this way you can do a select all remove spaces from emails of selected clients. Another option is delete selected clients. So if you want to delete a bunch of them at once, you just click the delete selected clients and it'll go through and delete them all. Tag selected clients. This is one of the ways in which you can quickly group clients into a tag. It's just by coming in here and clicking the tag selected clients. Email selected clients. If you want to do an email blast, you can do it here. Um, you can also do it using marketing campaigns, but if you just say I want to quickly email everybody that so you come down one one method you can come down here and say I want to email the everybody that has the last name Hall. You do that and you just do a group operation select all and then you follow that by email selected clients. Text message selected clients the same exact thing applies where you can do, do text message people and uh, you'd probably do the same thing where you type in their last name and do a, a small group of people. Export selected clients to CSV. Um, this is one of the ways that you can get your clients out to do like uh, printed mailers or email campaign campaigns using a, a third party um, provider. View selected clients on map. This is if you want to uh, view where they're located on map and this will pop up a big map that uh, will show where the clients are. Create projects for selected clients. This is if you have uh, multiple clients and you want to, so if you have all these clients you want to create a project for every single one of them you just do a select all and then create uh, projects for selected clients. Another way to do that is this little icon light right here called um, create project for client. This does one of them and it pulls up a create project window and you can just click save or, or do changes like that. Um, let's finish up the group operations here. Map a route for visiting these clients. So this right here, all you do is select a bunch of clients right here and click map a route and this will pull up a map and show you the different a route to the different clients as, long, as well as with options and then assign new client numbers to selected clients. What this will do is these clients right here it will override their current client numbers and assign them the numbers that are in the system so uh, which uh, let's see which currently the highest number in the system is 43. If you wanted to override that and have these clients be 44, 45, 46, 47, you can do that just by coming in here. Uh, we didn't finish doing the icons. We have this right here is the delete icon, and this will delete a single client. The edit icon, which will pop up the end window, edit window, and then the communicate with client icon, and this will let you send an email, postcard, or text message to this client. One of the things that it should be noted with regards to the delete client, if you delete a client that has an appointment or an invoice, it will not delete the client. It will actually archive the client. Um, and so that means that none of your financial information is, is um, or your, your appointments are, are messed up, but in fact the client's archived. If you want to view clients, you just come in here and say show, show archive clients. And uh, there's two examples of archive clients that uh, were deleted. Um, you can also, um, can't do it from the group operations, but if you edit a client, you can go in there and mark them as archived. And if you, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, down here to the list, you can also unmark the, unarchive, unarchive the client by coming in here and just clicking the unarchive option. There's also hidden clients. Um, in this situation, we don't have any. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Um, well, it's just uh, the hidden clients are clients such as um, children or um, spouses or, or clients that you do not want to see on your list. Um, for example, if you have a uh, family come in and only one person, one of the spouses is a pain and you don't, you're not interested in keeping track of the other spouse or the children, you can create them all as hidden clients and then you have a record of them. Um, for later on you can still track them but they're not people that you're actively marketing to. Uh, this is useful so uh, there's there's m multiple situations where this is useful but the most obvious one is hiding a spouse if you only are working with one spouse 
or if you have children. Now those children down the road might become paying clients. And so you want to have them in the system so you can track relationships, so you can so you can track different payments over time. Um, so it's useful um, using doing that for for those reasons. And if you notice over here, it says displaying active and hidden clients. So that uh, this shows you um, displaying all clients. That kind of gives you a summary of, of of what you're looking at. So we just went through and covered everything within the client list. Uh, any other questions, you can go to our, our forum or our live chat operators to, have, to get some help there.